everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a dope or no on the new Too Faced Sweet Peach collection. I am so excited to be reviewing this collection, you guys. I just went to the party last night and I was lucky enough to get a box. I remember like when I was there, they were gonna give me a bag and I was like, wait, what? I don't get a box. And then they looked at the list again. They're like, oh, you have the wrong wristband. You're supposed to have this one. So yeah, you do get a box. I'm like, thank you. Cause I would have been so bummed. So bum, but I'm so happy I was able to get a really huge box, which I'll show you in a little bit. But yeah, so I'm really excited to be doing this review. And I basically woke up in LA at my new place, drove home back to San Diego and got ready and I'm filming this now. So this is going to be a very fast turnaround video because I wanna get this review up for you guys before these products launch and you guys can kinda of decide which is worth it and which isn't worth it for you. So yeah, that's why I really love these reviews. So if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome, my name is Madison. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right here. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell over here as well. That way you get notified for future videos. I say this quite a bit now but YouTube no longer notifies you if you are subscribed to a person, you have to hit that bell. So if you guys wanna stay up to date with my videos and see when I post, especially cause I do a lot of reviews, then definitely hit that bell. And now let's go ahead and get into this no fun, no preview. Yes. <laughs> By the way, ignore my hair in this video. I took a shower this morning and I didn't wanna do it before the video. So I just threw it up in a messy bun and I threw some hairs down. So I never film this way. So don't mind the hair. <laughs> All right, so first off, this is the box that we got. This thing is huge, you guys. It is super cute. It kind of reminds me of like a Louis Vuitton like purse box that you would get if you got a purse from Louis Vuitton. <laughs> so it's ginormous. And it's also that soft touch material. So it's like really smooth. I like it. And you have a little cute little peach right here. And then also this box is like a big peach because you can kind of see where the leaf is and everything. So this was really awesome. The venue last night was amazing. I felt like I was at a wedding in a sense. Because of all the curtains and the flowers, I was like, oh, this would have been like a legit wedding. <laughs> so it was an awesome, awesome event. But this little box right here, you guys, it says sweet as a peach, the peach panic is over. And this is the inside of it, oh my goodness. See, she's even saying, oh my God, it's back, yeah. So, when you take that out, you have this, yeah. So this is everything that we got in this box, which is amazing. So I am also going to be doing a giveaway in this video, so make sure to stay till the end or just go to the description box if you guys wanna read all the rules and figure out what I'm giving away there. But I will be giving away something in this video that has to do with the collection. So definitely stay tuned throughout the video or just go down in the description box and figure it out. But let's go ahead and start reviewing this. Yes. All right, so now to get into the date. So I have everything written down right here so I can let you guys know when everything is going to launch. On December 14th at midnight, this entire collection is going to be released on Too Faced.com. So definitely set your calendars if you've been dying to get the eyeshadow palette, the highlighting palette, the blush, the eight shades of lip glosses. So yeah, definitely make sure to go over to Too Faced.com at midnight and try to get your hands on these because I know they're going to go so fast. And then also, they are going to hit Sephora and Ulta on December 15th online. So you can't get it in stores on December 15th. You can only order this collection online from Sephora and Ulta. But the only bummer part too is from what I've seen is that Sephora and Ulta are not gonna carry the eyeshadow palette. So make sure if you wanna get that eyeshadow palette, make sure to go to Too Faced.com because I believe that's the only place where you're gonna be able to get it. And also it's going to be in Ulta and Sephora stores, not until December 26th, which is the day after Christmas. So gather up all that Christmas money that you're probably gonna get and go get this collection if you guys are wanting it. So it's gonna be in stores at Sephora and Ulta, but again, I don't think there's gonna be any eyeshadow palette in those. It's only gonna be on Too Faced.com. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on into the products. All right, so the first product we're gonna be reviewing is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Smells Like Peaches palette. So this was a huge hit over the summer. It sold out so fast. I remember I had one in a giveaway and it went like insane because no one could get their hands on this. I could barely get my hands on this. I legit called it during that time. I feel like I'm trying to get Turbo Man 
and jingle all the way because it was so impossible to get this palette, but I was able to get it, so I already have one. So this is where I'm gonna be going and giving away this palette to you guys. So if you guys want to enter this giveaway to win this palette, I will have all the rules and link down below for you guys. I don't need two of them and I know how hard this is to get, so if you guys wanna get your hands on it, make sure to enter that giveaway. I do it the same way that I always do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up mine right here. And this is the one that I have. It smells like peaches. It retails for $49. And again, it's gonna be on TwoFaced.com on December 14th at midnight market. So the colors in here are really pretty. I used this palette on my eyes today and I like fell in love with it all over again. One, the scent is just so strong. It smells like peaches. It honestly, everything in here has kind of like the same scent, but a lot of them also kind of remind me of the pink Starburst <laughs> because it's so fruity and just kind of like juicy. It just smells really good. But the colors in here are really, really pretty. I'm gonna have full swatches on my arm that it's gonna come in on an overlay. So in this palette, you get 18 eyeshadows and six of them are matte and obviously 12 of them are shimmer. So it definitely is more of a shimmer palette, but I think it's really pretty because I even took this one called Caramelized right here and I used that one in my crease and it worked out really well. The colors are very blendable. They remind me of the same formulation as the chocolate palette. So if you guys really enjoy those, those are many people's cult favorites. So if you guys like those palettes then you're definitely gonna like this one because it's like the same formulation. And it's got a great little mix of cool tone and warm tone shadows. I really like this one that's called Candied Peach. And I just kind of blew that one out all over my crease and a little bit on the outer corner of my eye to give it that warm look. But this palette is just super, super pretty. I'm gonna just swatch one for you guys real quick. Also, don't mind my nails. I just got them done and two of them already broke. But look at that, that was one swatch. That is insane. But I have to say, this broken nail right here, which is funny, cause look, it's both my middle fingers. Both of my middle fingers are the ones that broke. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I don't get it. And they broke, legit, the day that I got them done, one of them broke that night and then one of them broke the next day when I was at the Ipsy Studios. And I was like, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? No luck, but super pretty right there. I also really like Summer Yum, and this one is a matte shade, so you could just see how pigmented that is right there. Usually matte shades don't come out as pigmented, and I think matte shades are kind of harder to formulate. These ones are formulated really well. They blend out really well. They're super pigmented. I really like them. So I definitely have to give this palette a dope. I think it's definitely worth $49. I think the formulation is great. I love the color selection in them. It's definitely different than any other palette that I have in my collection, especially with that candied peach. That one is just, I feel like that one just makes the palette. So I really like this one. I think it's gorgeous and definitely recommend it. So yeah, don't forget to enter the giveaway. All right, so next up here we have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow. Smells like peaches. This is the Peach Infused Highlighting Palette. I was going crazy because I knew they were gonna bring back the Sweet Peach Palette and I knew they were gonna bring it back during the holidays. I didn't know they were gonna come out with a whole collection though. Like that is so crazy, but just check out the packaging right here. Super, super pretty. It's the same type of tin packaging that all the chocolate bar palettes come in. And this highlighting palette retails for $42. It is so pretty. It looks just like the eyeshadow palette on the inside where the mirror is and little like peaches right there. Super cute. But, oh, I just put my finger on that. That really sucks. <laughs> but, ah! This is the highlighting palette right here. How gorgeous is that? I love it that they didn't just do a highlighter in here, but they did a blush topper and a very shimmery and glowy bronzer as well. So I think they are just so pretty. I'm wearing all of these products on my cheeks right now. Super, super pretty, super glowy. This highlighter, oh my gosh, you guys. This is amazing. I was so happy to see them come out with a really good highlighter because I've always been kind of disappointed with the candlelight one. And this one, the formulation is so smooth and fine and thin and it just goes on beautifully. It's a really pretty light highlight that has a little bit of an iridescent of peach in it. So I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I like it that they didn't go like too peachy with it to where it would look weird on top of your like you know on your cheekbones i like how it just has like that iridescence of it with like an iridescence of peach and gold it just looks so stunning on the i mean look at that oh, 
so pretty on the cheeks. So I really like that one. And also the blush topper is really pretty too. This one definitely has a sheen to it. Look at that gorgeous peach shade right there. That is so pretty. I really like that right there. It's so nice. It doesn't go on patchy. It goes on really nice and kind of gives you that really healthy glow look. I really like that. I also really like the bronzer too. It is really pretty. I just use a light wash of it on top of my other bronzer that I already had. And I think it's really nice. It is a little bit more on the warmer side. So you want to be careful with how much you put on it, especially if you're really fair like I am. So I only put on a light bit and it just brings a really nice glow to the skin. But I bronzed it like on top of here and then on the side of my cheekbones too. So just a very light wash. I was okay. It is definitely on the warmer side. So you want to be careful with it so it doesn't turn you to orange or something. But I really like it just to kind of lightly bronze the cheeks. So that highlighting palette, I definitely have to give it dope just because I really like how soft and fine everything is. It doesn't accentuate your texture. It's just like so creamy and just really good. I think they did a great job with formulating this. You can tell they really spent a lot of time on it and I really, really like it. I highly recommend this one. I think it's just perfect and the packaging is adorable. All right, so next up we have the blush right here and this is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. This is the peach infused blush. It is so cute, you guys. Again, it's a little tin, just like all the other packaging. And it's so adorable. I'm loving the peach. It was so cute at the venue. They had a ginormous peach on the ceiling, you guys. And it had like a flower crown, like if, you know, if you had a Snapchat filter on it. And it was so cute. Nikki and I, we were both like, kind of like, this reminds us of James and the Giant Peach. Like even when we were watching the little video that they did, and we were like, James and the Giant Peach. So funny, it was like throwback, but I love it. And this is so, so cute. This blush is also gonna be retailing for $30, which I know people are gonna be like, that's expensive for a blush. But in all honesty, the packaging, I can see why. It's because the packaging is amazing and you get quite a bit of product. You get nine grams of product in here. So that is really good for a blush. And also look at, you get a mirror, you guys. This is like perfect. It is so pretty and luxurious. It has gold all around it. It's so nice. And I like this one too, because this one's a little bit more of a cooler tone than the one in the highlighting palette. The one in the highlighting palette is a very peachy tone. So say if that's like not really like your shade and you like more of like the cooler tones, I feel like this one has more of a cooler undertone that you're gonna love this. Like this is like a perfect blush for me. I really like this one. It has a sheen to it, so you can kind of see. It has a little bit more of a mauve undertone to it and it just gives you that most gorgeous glow. I put this one on my cheeks first and then I saw the highlighting palette and so I added on <laughs> the one from the highlighting palette on top of that. But I have to say, I like this blush better than the one in the highlighting palette because this is like more my color. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. So yeah, definitely have to give this one a dope. It went on really nicely. It just brought like a glow to my cheeks and I really like it. <laughs> All right, so last but not least in this collection, there are new lip glosses. And these are gonna retail for $19. You can get them at Sephora, Ulta, or Too Faced.com. And they came out with eight shades. So these are a creamy peach oil lip gloss, and it includes a lip-loving peach oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E to soften and moisturize lips. So I'm actually wearing this shade right now on my lips. This is called Peachicle, and I'm wearing a lip liner underneath it just to make it a little bit more opaque. I really like the formula of these ones. I wanna talk about the formula first, but the formula of them are like really interesting and unique. I feel like, oh, well first let's look at the packaging. Look at that packaging. It is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of their lip injection glosses packaging, but you have a little peach guy up on top. How adorable is that? And it's like a, you know, Ray sticker. It reminds me of the stickers that we got when we were kids, like from the Sanrio store. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember those, but that's what it reminds me of. But these are really, really nice. They're not super opaque, but they do definitely have some pigment to them. I do notice that these are a little bit streaky when you're applying them, but if you rub your lips together and you pat it out with your finger, it turns out to be just fine and it goes away. So I'm really happy about that. And the formula of these are really unique. They're not sticky. 
and they just I don't know it feels like a little bit of a thicker gloss but not thick on your lips it just feels really good and moisturizing I really like these I think there's only one shade in here that's not really my shade which I'll talk to you guys about but that's just because it's a little bit too orange for my skin tone but I love all the shade collection of these they did a great job with them part of me was also kind of hoping that they would have came out with like a liquid lipstick you know with collection but I feel like liquid lipsticks are kind of slowly leaving and everyone's getting back into glosses because I think everyone, especially in the wintertime, is like so done with dry lips, right? So that's just something I've noticed, but I'm so happy they did glosses because I've been really into glosses lately and I think they did a great job with these. So let's go ahead and get into swatching them. All right, so again, the first shade that I have here is called Peachicle and I'm gonna have like, you know, lip swatches on the side. This one is just a gorgeous peachy nude. I love this one, look at that. So you can see that it does have some pigment to it. It's not super opaque like the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it still has a nice tint to it and you can see it on the lips too. So I have to say this one is probably like one of my favorites because it's so pretty, I like this one. <laughs> All right, so next up we have Peach Fuzz and this is another really pretty one. I noticed this one being a little bit more shrinky than the other ones and I think it's because it's a lighter shade, but again, when you rub your lips together and you pat it out, it goes away. This one is just your typical nudie pink. I really like this one again for every day. This shade would be perfect on the center of your lips to give you that like pouty look if you have like a little bit of a darker lipstick on. So yeah, I really like this one. This one you can pair with so many different things because it's a little bit more neutral. All right, so the third shade that we have here is called Papa Don't Peach. And this one, is a really gorgeous kind of rosy nude, I wanna say. Look at that. Oh, I like this one so much too. And on the lips, I think it's just the right amount of pigment and it's just really comfortable. I really love the formula of these. It's like, it's really kind of hard to describe. At first I thought it was kind of moussey and whipped, but then as I'm like looking at it more, I'm like, no, it's not really, it's just, like the perfect amount of pigment and thickness to it because it's not too thick and it's not too thin. So yeah, that one's a really pretty color. All right, so for our fourth shade that we have here, it's called Pure Peach and this one's really pretty. I like this one. This one is a gorgeous like bright coral shade. I really love colors like this for minimal makeup days because what I'll do is I'll go with like out any bronzer. I'll just put on a little bit of blush that is kind of like a really pretty like peachy apricot color and I'll put on the lip shade like this and it just really gives you that like healthy, fresh makeup look that's very minimal and I just think it's perfect. So I love doing that for like every day and I'm so excited for this shade because this one is gonna be like my new go-to shade for that and oh, again, you guys, these smell so good. They smell just like a pink Starburst, I swear. Yeah, they smell like peaches, but it just reminds me of pink Starburst just because of how fruity it is. So I really like this one. <laughs> All right, so for our fifth shade that we have here, it is called Peach Teas, and it just looks like this right here. It's another gorgeous, like, bright coral shade. This one has a little bit more of a deeper tone to it than the last one. Look at this. Oh, see, that's like another perfect one for those like fresh minimal makeup days. That's why I really like these. These are gorgeous. Okay, so for our next one, we have Tickle Me Peach, which kind of reminds me of like Tickle Me Pink. This one honestly is not my cup of tea for a shade, but that's because I have pink undertones in my skin, so it doesn't mesh well. If you have yellow undertones, I think you'd really like this one. And this one is more of a deeper coral with a red undertone. So you can kind of see like why that wouldn't mesh too well with me, but it still is a really, really pretty shade though. Okay, so next up here we have Peach Please. And this one I really like. This is definitely one of my top favorites in the collection. I think it's the most gorgeous, like kind of bubblegum pink. And it's just like the right amount of pink. So I really, really like this one because I think another reason why I really like it is because it's got a cooler undertone. It's not so warm. So it goes really well with my skin tone. But yeah, if you guys have a skin tone like mine, you'd probably really like this one because it kind of cancels out any redness that you may have. <sighs> so pretty, I like this one. Okay, so the last one in the collection is called Poppin' Peach. And this one is very orange. So you're gonna see in the clip, like I even looked at it and I was like, oh, this does not work 
at all for me. <laughs> so again, if you guys have a skin tone like mine with pink undertone and a lot of red in your skin, you're not gonna like it. But if you're yellow, I think you'd really like it. I mean, if you're really into those orange shades, because this is a true like orange apricot shade right there. Like look at that. Woo! It does have a good amount of pigment to it too. So you could definitely see this on my lips. But yeah, it's just not my cup of tea to be honest, but it's it's a unique one. All right, so those were all the eight shades of the new lip glosses. I think they did a really good job with those, so I definitely have to give those ones a dope. I really like the formulation of them. They're very unique. They're pigmented, but they're not too thick. They're just like the perfect amount of thickness to it. Like they're super comfortable, not sticky, and I just really like them. So definitely giving those ones a dope. All right, so next up what we got in this PR package is this like peach clutch right here. I don't know, I'm pretty sure that they are going to be selling this. Um, I'm not entirely positive, but I'm pretty sure, but it's really cute. It has like a little Too Faced on the leaf right here, and it's like a little shape of the peach, and the fabric is really unique. And then you open it up, and it's got sweet peach all inside of it, which is really cool. So here, let me take off this thing right here. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's got gold detailing on the side, and then you can close it like this, and you can use this as a little clutch. How cute is that? This would even be cute for like a little girl, you know? Because you know, little girls love having little purses like their moms and they could put stuff in this. This would be adorable. So yeah, really like this. This is super cute. All right, so that is everything from the Too Faced Sweet Peach collection. I am so excited that I was able to review this for you guys. I know this entire collection was a huge dope and that's because they legit did an amazing job on this collection because the formulation is so consistent throughout everything. Like it's really good. So I really love everything that they came out with and I highly recommend getting your hands on it. I will be crossing my fingers for you guys during the launches because I know it's gonna be really hard. I'm gonna try to get more so that way I could do a giveaway with them in the future but I know it's gonna be really hard. So I wish you guys all luck. If you really wanna get the Sweet Peach palette, make sure to enter the giveaway down below so that way you guys get another chance. Remember, it's the same way that I always do it. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this Dope or Nope review, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also feel free to comment down below which products is your favorite from this collection. I always love hearing you guys' opinions. And also don't forget to subscribe for future reviews and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. This is the inside. Ow. <laughs> which is like the day after Christmas, right? Which is the, which is the day after Christmas. So if you guys want to go get any of this.